Hi, we're Pastor Jerry and Julie Jenkins. Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles. In fact, it's a ministry without walls and boundaries. In fact, it's a min threefold ministry. First of all, helping people receive salvation through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Secondly, helping people re receive deliverance from the slavery of addiction. And thirdly, helping people receive healing in their spirit, mind, soul, and body. And this is the word for the week. Well, this week we have a special word. In fact, it's going to be the message today is going to be for two groups of people. For number one, it's a time of joy. For the other, it's a time of sorrow. Why would that be? Well, that's because of the outcome of the election. We're just having, we're having elections on Tuesday. Well, by the time you get this video, the elections will probably be over mm -hmm. or the day before they're over. And uh, this message again is going to be for two groups of people. One group is going to be a, going to be a time of joy and the second is a time of sorrow because of the results of the election. Well, Julie, what does it say in Daniel about this? Daniel 2, 21, in fact, was speaking about the the results of things, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, Daniel speaking about God Almighty. Yes. He's in control. Mm. He said in Daniel 2, the 21st verse, and he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Okay, wait just a minute. He removes kings yes. and raises up kings? Yes. So in other words, God does everything, right? Mm -hmm. So people, we all went out and voted. Either mm -hmm. we went out and voted or you're about to vote or you have already voted for one of the two people, mm -hmm. uh, either a Democrat or Republican, because that's what the vote's about this year, right? So we work so hard at getting one person in or one person out, right? And yet, you know what? Every vote counts. But God already knows what he was going to do. God already knows who he was going to put in and who he was going to take out. Every time there's an election, a Democrat or Republican, running for, I don't care whether it's Congress or whether you're running for president or what you're running for, we all vote. That's our responsibility. And we need to vote for the person we want. But the end result is God raises up kings and takes down kings. God already knows before we voted who was going to be elected. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's kind of comforting, though, because it means that he has 24-7 control of our lives as well. Yeah. He's 24-7 yeah. control of everything. Right. What, what does it say? That one of my very favorite verses, I want you to read for me. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. God has brought me to this a dozen times times in my life. What does it say? It says, Have you not mm. known? Have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Oh, wait a minute. His understanding's what? Unsearchable. That's that's we can't even imagine his understanding. No. Can mm -hmm. we? It's so far above us we can't even imagine it, right? Yes. Okay, what is it say in twenty nine? He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Amen. Even you shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. Let's stop on 31 for a minute. <clears throat> this is one of the most important things in this whole message, I think. That one verse. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, right? Yes. Those who wait on the Lord. The thing of it is, I think as a human being, the hardest thing for us to do is to wait on the Lord. You know mm -hmm. it? Because always we got an idea. We're going to do it my way. And God, I'm going to do it this way or that way. And we never stop to ask on the Lord a lot of times. And that's where we make our mistake. Yes. But those who wait upon the Lord. So many times in my life, I've got ahead of God. That's you easy know, to do. Huh? It, it is, but 
We, we think, well, I need to do this or that. And we don't stop and wait on him. Mm -hmm. We don't pray it through and have him tell us exactly what to do. Right. Isn't that correct? That's so true. So I think that's one of the most important statements in this whole message. Right. Is learning to wait on the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, because... Um, we're, we don't have to figure it out. We just do what God leads us to do and and let the, leave the consequences to the Lord. Amen. And especially working with people with addictions, they're always going to fix it themselves. Right. They're always going to go their way. If we could all learn just to sit down and wait on the Lord, pray it through. Mm -hmm. Anything you're going to do, pray about it first. Mm -hmm. Before you make a decision, pray about it. And then God will tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. And then if he tells you to go do this or that, and you go do it, for instance, in this election, mm -hmm. if he would tell you to, to for instance, to uh, put the Democrat in or, or, or vote for the Democrat or the Republican, and you did it, and just the opposite happened, you'd say, well, did I hear from you? Yeah, maybe you did hear from him, but maybe he decided to do something different. Right. Amen. 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 Uh, Go ahead, Julie. Right. And, of course, we're not talking about um, politics. Uh, politics, Democrat or Republican. We're talking about the last two years have been very difficult for all of us. No and, matter who was it. Right. And I have a question for you. Could this be because that much of America has turned its back on God? This is the reason. We can blame it on this person. We can blame it on that person. Yes. But the truth is, America has absolutely turned its back on God. Yes. And so that's going to bring a consequences. Now, I'm not saying that the other people did everything right. right. I'm not saying that. Sure. But I'm saying that America's turned its back on God, and there's going to be a consequence. Oh, yeah. Amen? Yeah. yeah. What, what else does it go and say here? Well, and we've shared this many times in these videos, but sometimes we need to talk about it for the new ones. Yes. That only 24% of Americans believe the Bible is the word of God and take it literally. That means 76 of America percent of the Americans don't even believe the word of God. And the results of that we are seeing in our country daily. I know 76% of Americans don't even believe the word of God. Right. How is God going to bless a country when 76% of the Americans don't even, don't even believe in God? Yeah, God don't even, can't bless sin, you know. No, it's impossible. Right. Hey, if you go through the Bible, every book in the Bible where the country had turned its back on God or the nation had turned its back on God, there was a disaster, right? right. I mean, God's wrath came up out upon them. Right. And I think that's what we're seeing today. Let's go over some of the things that's going on right now. Well, violent crime is up in America. Violent crime, it sure is. Yeah. In fact, you turn on your TV tonight, and you're going to hear how many people got shot, how many people got stabbed, how many people got thrown underneath the railroad train or whatever. Yeah. It's, uh, it's unreal. Go yeah, ahead. It's so sad. And CNN reported on the wave of smash-and-grab crimes plaguing the United States cities. That's unreal. Where, where groups of people go in and just start breaking up all the glass counters and stealing everything out of them and leaving. Yeah, they're networking through through the phone, through their cell phone and, and social media in order to commit crimes. Can you imagine being a store owner? You've worked your whole life in building a business mm -hmm. and these people come in and just clean you out in mm -hmm. one night. That well, would be heartbreaking. Well, yeah, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. And it's heartbreaking, too. The insurance companies don't like it. And there's been a 30% increase in the murder rate this year, the largest ever recorded in U.S. history. 30%? Yes. Increase. Raise in the murder rate? Increase, yeah, in murder. 30% more murders. Yeah. That's unreal. And so far this year, more than 75,000 Americans died from overdose of opioids, mainly fentanyl. Wait a minute, let's go over that one more time because that is unbelievable. Yeah, so, How many? Um, so far this year, more than 75,000 Americans died from overdose of synthetic opioids, mainly fentanyl. Now, that's not lost in the war. No. That's not lost doing working overseas somewhere. 75,000. 75,000, that's 
I mean, that's just, I, that's more than I can believe. Mm. 75,000 Americans have died from overdose of fentanyl, basically, right? Yeah. And other synthetic opioids. Hmm. What else is going and, on? Um, some schools don't want you to know what they are teaching your kids, and that's a problem is a title on the Heritage Foundation website. Uh-huh. So the Heritage Foundation on their website, yeah. they're saying, yes. they're, they're making that statement, right? Right. Some schools don't want you to know what they're teaching your children, right? Right. You're right. Just That's unreal. Day. That's and real. Some of these things are contrary to God's word, the things that are being taught. And we wonder then why some of our children are having problems uh, with school. We have taken prayer and Bible out of schools. Uh -huh. So we take the prayer out of school. Let me stop you for just a minute. So today in America, you can't have the Bible in school. You can't read the Bible in school. You can't pray in school. Mm -hmm. But what's going on in Moline, Illinois? Well, Moline, Illinois School District defended an elementary school offering after-school Satan Club this year. Well, wait a minute. So in other words, my child can't read the Bible in school. My child can't pray in school. No. But my child can go, can to, go to a Satan Club after school. After school. And we wonder why America's having problems today. Yeah. I mean, get serious. Yeah. This, 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 is, this is crazy. Yeah, many have turned their back on God. They don't know he's even there. And that's why we need to get the word out that Jesus loves them and has saved them from their sins. And once God wants a relationship. Well, what, is, what did Jesus say in John 13, 34, and 35? He says, A new commandment that I give you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you love one another by this all will know that you're my disciples if you love one another. Okay, let's stop there for a minute. We recently have had politicians get up and make speeches, I'm not going to say whether it's Democrat or Republican, about how the opposite people, group of people, are just bringing the, how they're, all the hatred in them and how they're bringing a war in them, uh, practically starting a civil war and this and that. What is wrong with our country? Right here is the answer. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, a new commandment I give you, that you love one another mm -hmm. as I've loved you. So that means if you're a Democrat, you need to love the Republicans too. If you're a Republican, you need to love the Democrats too. You may have a difference in opinion of the way you want the country run, but we're supposed to love one another. Mm -hmm. America today is on self-destruct because we hate one another. Amen? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've never seen so much hate. Yes. Okay, yes. what else does it say? Um, and today, America is totally divided. Totally. And Bible says, Jesus warned us in Matthew twelve twenty five, a house divided cannot stand. Yeah, now do you believe the Bible or not? The Bible yeah. says, a house divided cannot stand. Okay. That means the marriage, husband and wife, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, if this house is divided, we won't make it. We're going to end up in a divorce somewhere. So a house divided cannot stand. Mm -hmm. But a country divided cannot stand either. Mm -hmm. And so just like a marriage will fall, mm -hmm. so will a country fall. Now, Jesus Christ himself that died and paid for us with his blood made this statement, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Do we believe the Bible or not? Oh, we do. If we do, we better start thinking about this and praying about it. What does it say, Julie, about this? Well, we're wondering, is America on self-destruct? It's time that the two groups of people that we've been talking about and all of us Americans turn back to the one nation under God with yes. liberty and justice for all before it is too late. And the most important part of that is turning back to God in his word. Please join us in prayer for America. Yes, let's do pray for America, Julie. But before we do that, I want to just go on how important this is. It's not only for America, but it's for you listening. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are married and you have a spouse, the first thing you need to learn is everything isn't going to be my way. 
and everything isn't going to be the other your spouse's way. We got to learn to live to get along to live together. Well, in America, it's the same thing. My everything just because I think something's the way it should be doesn't mean that's the way it is. Mm-hmm. We got to start learning to judge, not judge one another, but to love one another, to listen to what the other person has to say. The problem is, a lot of times we think, why? I know all the answers nobody else does, and so I'm not going to listen to anybody. Well, the only thing that's going to accomplish is absolutely destroying your relationship with everybody. we got to learn to live together. As Jesus said, we got to learn to love one another, as I have loved you. So I want to encourage you today. If you're having problems with anxiety, worry, fear, depression, or of any type of addiction, we're here to help you. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call us. How do they call us, Julie? You can call us at 217-617-5577, or you can visit our website at addictionfreeinchrist.com. That's www.addictionfreeinchrist.com. You can also email Pastor Jerry at Rev Jerry at addictionfreeinchrist.com. That's Rev Jerry at addictionfreeinchrist.com. And I want to encourage all my brothers and sisters here in America that if you have a problem with anxiety, worry, fear, depression, or a various addiction, or you just want to discuss something with us about a video we did, pick up the phone and call us, please. And then for our wonderful, wonderful brothers and sisters in Christ, all over the world, okay. yes. And if that's any of you, just email us. If you have something you want us to cover, just text us, email us. Let us know what we can do to help you. And also, if you want to criticize something we're doing, get on that keyboard and do it. And we're going to look at it with an open mind. We're not going to sit here and tell you we know everything. I do know one thing, that If the Bible says it, that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I do know that is everything. If the Bible says it, that's the way it is. Other than that, I'm willing to listen. Okay? So give us, oh, Julie, we got a bunch of people to thank before I get tuned off here. Yes, and we would like to thank Nikki Samus of Westtown Ford Lincoln of Jacksonville, Illinois, Andy and Jeannie Nicholson of Punta Gorda, Florida, and Mark Yale of Ormond Beach, Florida. Also, our Faith Foundation partners and viewers like you for making these programs possible. Now, the first ones that she read off, those people are just sending money to just support this one program, mainly. That's what they're doing. So, the, But then our Faith Foundation partners, if it wasn't for you, we couldn't even be here mm-hmm. doing what we're doing. Because we're working practically around the clock every day with what's going on in our country. And it takes it takes money to do this. And we couldn't we couldn't be doing what we're doing in this ministry if it wasn't for you. So we want to thank you all for listening today and God bless you. And if you have anything you want to share with us, just give us a well first of all they can call us at 217-617-5577 217-617-5577 and I'll close in prayer if you like. Okay, thank you. Hey, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time with with our friends, Lord. We pray that you touch them and heal them and make them whole, Lord Jesus. You said if we ask anything, you do it. Yes. We glorify the Father and we know this would glorify the Father to touch and heal them spiritually physically and emotionally lord we just thank you for that healing we pray you direct and guide our great country the united states of america that you'd make it united again god we just thank you for this great country lord and we give you all the glory and honor and praise we thank you for how you are governing the affairs of the world and we're just in all of what you do and god we thank you and praise your holy name in jesus name amen Amen. Well, we got to go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.